హలో ఎవరివన్ వెల్కమ్ టు వేఐ టెక్ టాక్స్ యాజ్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఏడబ్ల్యూఎస్ ఇంటిగ్రేషన్ యూజింగ్ వీల్ సాఫ్ట్ సిరీస్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు టాక్ అబౌట్ ద బిలో యూస్ కేస్ టుడే ద యూస్ కేస్ ఈస్ సో క్రియేట్ అ ఫైల్ అండ్ స్టోర్ ద డేటా ఇన్ టు ఎస్ త్రీ బకెట్ ద ప్రీవియస్ వీడియో విచ్ ఐ హ్యావ్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ఓకే సో హౌ టు క్రియేట్ ఎస్ త్రీ బకెట్ and how to gather access key and secret key if you are watching this video for the very first time you can go to our youtube channel and here i have created playlist okay we'll start with aws integration how to create a free aws account and how to create s3 bucket you can watch first two videos okay let's try to see it in a practical way okay create a file and store data into s3 bucket so in order to implement this one i can open any punch studio so this is what we have seen in a previous video but in our use case we need to store the data okay so we have created we have created some sample buckets okay you can also vi tick s3 bucket sample there is no file here okay there is no file here so how to add the file and how to store the data we are going to see now so here so what we have to do so if there is no amazon s3 module okay go to search and exchange and type and type amazon okay type amazon and add amazon s3 connector okay so it's already present in my project so i'm not going to add this one okay just cancel that next what is required we need access key and secret key so how to generate go to aws account go to security credentials go to security credentials so here you can see access keys access keys option so there is an option called create access key so by using this option you can able to generate access key and secret key we need to use access key and secret key not your username and password okay you have to remember that okay now go to amazon s3 module here so in order to create a file and you want to store a data so there is no create object here okay so what we need to use we need to use put put object i think okay yeah put object is there i'm going to add this one i don't want to create again i mean i don't want to create bucket anyway i have already created so what i will do i will comment out okay just give right click and toggle comment so automatically this one is going to comment it's not going to run anymore now click on this put object see the same configurations i am going to take it here access key and secret key okay now just observe so what is the bucket name okay so even you can keep your bucket name here aws bucket name so i want to use my sample bucket okay we are take s3 bucket sample double quotes just in it add this one okay now so in order to access dollar and flower braces 
aws dot bucket name n is caps are small okay capital letter only now so what is the object key i mean so what is the file name so the file name i'm going to pass it via i'm going to pass it via query parameters okay either what you can do if you want you can hard code here okay suppose there is an employee data employee dot csv you can do that employee dot json you can do that so that is up to you so how you are going to configure i am going to configure i want to take data from user attributes dot query forms dot okay file name file name just observe here so i have configured bucket name and object key object key in the sense the file name so this is what we are going to we are going to configure here so once it is configured what you can do let me run this and meanwhile i'll prepare a endpoint for this okay so let me create one more endpoint new request store data or create file whatever it is okay so i'm going to post i'm going to use post here local host 8081 and aws okay now from query parameters i'm going to pass i'm going to pass file name correct file name the file name called i'm going to keep it as employee dot csv so this is my file name so for this how to pass an input click on this body or csv file and all you need to select text so not json this is very important so keep in mind so if it is json then you can click on json if it is csv file then you can click on text file okay now i want to pause i want to pause csv data here so i have a file okay i have a file and i have some data okay what i will do so let me copy this data control e and control c okay or just keep it here okay just keep it here now so once the application is up i mean once it is deployed you can send the input so what we have done here again so we have opted for put object okay and the configuration details are it is already available access key and secret key next we need to configure it's very important the bucket name and the file name the file name i'm going to pass it via thunder client and the content so it is called payload okay so this is our payload so this is my file name so before going to execute just observe whether any files are there or not okay so here if you observe there are no files okay there is no data at all so what we can do i'm going to send now so if you want you can keep it in a debug mode okay if you want you can keep it in a debug mode so that is up to you that is up to you now so once it is done 
just do refresh see now there is a file 6.5 kb data it is available okay i want to create another file so it's very simple change the file name employee underscore v1 i am going to keep it and the body i don't want under record suppose i want only 86 okay you can send and go to your s3 bucket and observe see there are two files it is created okay now this time i want to send json data okay json change the file name file name is employee v2 dot json okay employee v2 dot json i have some data i have some data i am going to send click on this body and click on this json okay send 200 success okay now you can do refresh observe here all the three files are created correct all the three files are created now i want to see what is the data it is there okay so what you can do it's very simple just click these check boxes and you can download okay i want to see data for employee.csv suppose download it's downloaded okay now go here and see the data and see the data see why it is coming in a single line i'll tell you okay so we didn't add commas here we didn't add commas that is the reason okay so this time if you want you can create you can create dot excel as x okay excel file i'm going to create we'll see and click on this body and click on this text okay now click on send so if you want we can see here okay if you want you can see it's loading So now I want to download this file and as well as this file. Okay, I want to see the data. Actions. Okay, where is download? Okay, only one file it is downloading. Okay, let it be. Okay, this way you can download. Okay, this way you can download. See, this is my json file so where is this json so json file is not yet downloaded okay just download this one now you can see either you can open with edit with notepad plus plus or vs code see now this one looks good okay this one looks good okay now see the, everything it is going to consider as text that is the reason everything it is coming in a single tab itself okay so that's how that's how it is going to work. So if you want, it's in a CSV format. Just to go here and add commas over there. Okay, add commas over there.
what is csv comma separated values right okay we need to add like that then only it is going to work okay that's it for this video next video we are going to see how to read this file okay how to read this file by using mulesoft itself okay so far we have seen how to create a bucket and how to create data into s3 bucket now we are going to see in the next class we are going to read the data okay we are going to read the data from here see even there is one more option here see if you want you can upload directly see add files suppose add files is there so this is my file i can add and i can upload but by using mulesoft so how we are going to integrate so that is the very important okay yeah that's it for this video thanks for watching this happy learning